Good evening, I'm Chris May. I'm Jessica Dean. This happened in Taconi Creek in the Juniata Park section of Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Quinones is live at Northeast Detectives with more on the tragedy and an important warning. Jessica, police are worried that more kids could die this summer if they don't stay out of area creeks. They tell me what happened here this evening. Clearly, it is sad, it is tragic, but it was also very preventable. Philadelphia police officers and firefighters jumped into the muddy waters of the Taconi Creek to try and pull the teen out. There wasn't much of a current. We couldn't see the bottom. We just had the feel along the bottom. Just before six, four teenagers were swimming in a dangerous spot along the Taconi Creek on Fisher's Lane, just off Ramona Avenue in Juniata Park. A 15 year old boy went under this bridge in about eight to 10 feet of water. Police say he couldn't swim and he went under and did not resurface. After the initial attempts failed, firefighters did find the 15 year old and pulled him out, hoping to save his life. He was completely unconscious. Um, he was put in the back of a rescue squad. Uh, medics worked on him. Uh, they worked on him for a long time, but um, uh, uh, tragically, he was pronounced dead. The 15 year old lived just a few blocks away. Despite signs warning people to stay out, this remains a popular place for kids to cool off. But police say the seemingly tranquil surface hides hidden dangers. The muddy waters conceal rocks, tree branches, and even shopping carts underwater. Here I grew up about two blocks away. I think I can actually see the house where I grew up, and this was notorious back here for a bad spot to swim. So it's totally different than a swimming pool where the water's calm, you can see the bottom, and with a swimming pool, there's often lifeguards on locations. Our detectives here interviewed the three other surviving teens who tried to help, and at this point, this appears to have been just an accidental drowning. Reporting live tonight from Northeast Detectives, Todd Quinones, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Such a sad story, Todd. Thank you.